Hey everybody! In this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a room in two-point perspective. So in one-point perspective we're looking directly down the room and the vanishing point is usually in front of us. So we're seeing things kind of from the front or directly from the side. Whereas in two-point perspective we have two vanishing points on either side of the room and we see the room kind of coming in at a corner. So our walls kind of go to the opposite vanishing points to get us started. So let's start by making two vanishing points on a line. I'm not going to draw a horizon line since we're indoors. We won't really have a horizon line. So to start with, I'm actually just going to make a vertical line. And it's not going to be super big um, because I want my room to take up a fair amount of space on the page. So I'm going to draw a vertical line and then from there I'm going to create the sides of the where the walls meet the floor and the ceiling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my edges with my vanishing points. And instead of drawing right here, I'm actually going to skip this first part and then draw my walls on the outside of this line. Since we're looking inside of a box, essentially, it's like the opposite of drawing a cube. So I'll do the same over here and I'm just going to do the opposite edges. All right, so now we're looking in here um, and here we have like the back corner of the wall, the walls, the ceiling, and the floor. And I'm just going to straighten this paper out a little bit. I'm straight or facing straight on, but the camera is not. There we go. That's better. So let's start making some stuff in this room. So I think I'm going to make it a bedroom. So obviously if we have a bedroom, we need to have a bed. I think I'm going to have the bed up against this wall here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of figure out where I want the corner of the bed that's closest to us. So what I'm going to do is just kind of pick a spot where I think it should be and I'm going to create a vertical line here and this is going to be the corner that's closest to me. So from here I'm basically going to be making one really big rectangular prism. So I'm going to connect the tops and bottoms of my bed to the opposing vanishing points. Um, and I'm not going to draw them all the way out because I don't want to erase them. So I'm just going to draw them out somewhere and then I will figure out where they're going to end. So about halfway and then I'll probably be stopping before I get there. So. Okay, so now I need to create my parallel lines where I think my bed is going to start and end. So I want my bed to end kind of right where the corner of the wall is, maybe just a little bit before that. So I'll do my parallel line, which is vertical. And then this will be kind of a skinny bed. I don't want it to go all the way into the corner. So I'm going to stop a little bit before the corner so that we have a little walkway. All right, so there's a little space over there. And what I'll do is just erase these extra lines here. And now that we have our vertical lines, then just like making a box in two-point perspective, we're going to connect these points here to our opposing vanishing points. 
And again, I don't need to draw all the way up because I'm going to have to erase it anyway. So the fewer lines I draw, the easier it is for me. Uh, basically, I just don't want to draw so many lines. I mostly just want to make sure that my ruler still meets at the vanishing points, because if it does not meet at the vanishing points, then we start to have some problems and it's no longer in perspective. Okay, I'm going to put this bed up on some feet here. And to make sure that the foot is in perspective, I'm going to create a little converging line from the bottom of it so I know where it should go. And the same goes for on this side. All right, so now I've got kind of the platform of my bed. I think I'll make a headboard. So the headboard will come up vertically just like the sides of the bed. And um, because it is on this wall, anything on this wall is going to go to this vanishing point. Whereas anything on this wall is going to go to this vanishing point. So we just kind of follow the guiding converging lines that you have for the side of your room. So this headboard is going to go to this vanishing point. It's almost in line with it, so it's going to look almost straight. Not quite. There we go. And maybe I'm going to give it a little detail. All right. Um, so there's just the basis of the bed. I'll add more details as I go along. Um, how about we add in a dresser over here? So we'll see kind of the side of the dresser and then the front face of it. Um, so I'm just going to start with a vertical line for the dresser, the top of the dresser. And I'm going to go a little bit past the floor line because this is where the wall meets the floor. So if, in order for it to have any sort of thickness, we need to bring it past that line. So remember anything on this side of the wall goes to this vanishing point. So we'll connect the top and bottom to our opposing vanishing point. And then I'll just draw it as wide as I want it to be. Again, you don't have to draw all the way to the other vanishing point as long as you know it lines up with it. And then we'll stay parallel to the sides here. Okay, so there's the front face of the dresser. Now we need to make the side of it. So I am going to connect these two points to this vanishing point. It's going to be a bit dramatic here. Okay, now where the wall meets the floor is where I'm going to do my parallel line because that it should be butted up against the wall. There we go. So we've got our dresser. I'll erase the lines behind it. And if we wanted to make dresser faces or drawers, um, they would go to the opposite vanishing point, just like the top and bottom did. So I'll just make some lines to plan those out. I think I'll draw a nice window here. So again, if the top and bottom go to this vanishing point, we'll stay the same. So I'm going to start with the back edge of the window. So 
So there's kind of the basis of the window. Um, we can start making a window frame. Now to make the window look like it has depth, um, I'm going to connect, just like we did with the dresser, connect the sides to the opposite vanishing point. And I'm just going to make a little tiny mark, not very big because windows don't stick out that far from the wall. So a little bit, and then we'll do a parallel line for the back edge of the trim. There we go. We can do diagonal lines to the corners here. Then um, windows kind of sit inwards just a little bit, so I am going to make the inside of the window trim by connecting these outer corners just a little bit. And we'll do the same thing that we did over here. Except um, at this corner, it's going to be a converging line, just like the line above it. And there'll be a really slight converging line down here at this corner. Very subtle. There we go. All right, so now we're looking into the window frame. Um, from here, we can draw, maybe it's a window you can open. So let's give it a frame here. That's a nice little window. Okay, um, maybe why don't we make a little nightstand here. All right, I'm just going to start with a little vertical line where I want the top of the nightstand to be. And from here, I'm going to connect the top and bottom of that line to my vanishing points. Okay, and from here, I'll do my parallel lines. There we go. And now we'll connect to the opposite vanishing points. All right, so there's a little tabletop and we'll just make some legs going down. And again, just like we did with the bed frame, we want our legs to follow these converging lines. And then for this back corner, I'm just going to kind of line it up with the corner a little bit. And use a converging line to kind of figure out where the back is. So I don't really like that the table is just kind of sitting there so free form. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is give it a little drawer and a bottom shelf. So I am going to make a little space underneath here. Give it some thickness. There we go. And then we'll put a shelf in between all these legs here towards the bottom because I think that will look cool. So now I've got a little end table in place. And I think I'm just going to finish up a few little last minute touches on this piece and speed things up a little bit. So this is Drawing a Bedroom in Two Point Perspective. Thanks for watching!